The question is whether PBCl2 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it dissolves in water. So lead 2 chloride, is it going to be an acid base or neutral when it's in water? To figure that out, first we need to know the neutralization reaction that produces this PBCl2. So we have lead 2 hydroxide, and then we have hydrochloric acid. So we have these two combined in a neutralization reaction, makes lead 2 chloride in water. It's a neutralization reaction. So we need to find the strengths of the base and the acid to use these rules here. This is a really nice table to do that with, good one to memorize. We look for PBOH2 under bases, and it's not there. So if it's not on our list of strong bases, it's a weak base. HCl, though, that right here is a strong acid. So write SA up there so we can remember that. And now we know the strengths of the acid and the base. So we can use the rules to figure out if PBCl2 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. So have a weak base and a strong acid. Here's a weak base and a strong acid. And it says the pH is going to be less than 7. The solution is going to be acetic. So in answer to our question, PBCl2 in water forms an acetic solution. We should note that PBCl2 isn't very soluble. If you look this up on a solubility table, it would say slightly soluble. So a little bit of it's going to dissolve, but not a whole lot. Still, that's enough to make the pH be less than 7. Maybe not much, but it would be an acetic solution. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.